Hi, welcome to another video. So, one of the issues that I see a lot with almost all the AI stuff these days is giving it the correct context and memories. For that, I had told you guys about Byte Rover, which acts as a common memory layer for all your AI agents, and they can cross-reference the memories that you'd like. You can plug it into any of your AI coders with a simple MCP server and a simple extension, and use it easily without any issues. Your AI coder can automatically make memories and retrieve them when it thinks that they can come in handy. You can also ask your coder manually to make these memories if needed. You could also share these memories with multiple teammates, like if it's related to a specific project's documentation or an error that happens a lot of times then you can tell it how to fix that and put it in memory. Or, if there are docs and stuff, then you can add that as well. These memories are synced to any coder or anything where you have the MCP installed, as the AI can use those reference memories and use them accordingly. All you need to do to use it is just sign up on Byte Rover and then select what you would like to configure with Byte Rover. It almost supports anything that supports MCP. So, just select the one that you want to use, and then it will give you the exact command or setup that you need in order to use that tool with Byte Rover. Once that's done, you can start using it pretty easily. You can check out my previous video on all the configuration details and how you can use it in effective ways. But, they have recently added some cool new features and I thought I'd tell you guys about these new features as well. First, let's start with the Context Composer. Context Composer is a new thing in Byte Rover. If you navigate to the Byte Rover web panel, then here you can see a new button called Context Composer. Context Composer opens up a new chat-like window that allows you to add custom manual context into Byte Rover with a chat interface. You can chat here with the AI about what you need to add, or upload documents, PDFs, images, or anything like that. So, I ask it here to add the following stuff into the memory. This is just the OpenAI Agents SDK, and you'll see that it will parse it, and in just a bit, it will add this as a memory quite easily. The same also goes if you put in some kind of image or PDF or whatever. If you just have an idea of what you want to add and want to generate the exact text to add, then you can actually just chat with it, like an AI chat, and brainstorm the stuff that you want to add, which is also good nonetheless. They are also working on integrating this interface with Google Drive, Slack, and more, so that it can gain context from there and draft memories for you. Once the memory is created, then it will be available in the memory store. It will also be available anywhere you use Byte Rover. So, you can go ahead in your coder of choice and ask it to tell you about all the memories or the recent ones, and then it will just spit that out. It can also use it in any way in order to work accordingly, which is also kind of cool. So, yeah, that is also kind of amazing nonetheless. You can now also see the created memories in the memory store in the panel. And here's another new feature. It now allows you to create, read, update, and delete memory entries directly. So, you can just go to any of the memories here, and then you'll see this new edit option. This allows you to edit the memory accordingly. You can edit anything in it and update it according to your needs and then make it work accordingly. You can also edit the tags of this as well, allowing for better search and everything like that too. But it's not just that. Because if you update the context, then you can also revert it back with their easy-to-use history. Here, it stores all the previous memories as well. So, if you mess something up, then it allows you to revert it back. You can see what's changed and what's not, and then revert. 
You can also edit the memories that are created by your AI coder, or if it updates something, then you can also revert it if needed through here. So, let me just ask my AI coder here to go ahead and make a new memory about the code base, and then you'll see that it will go ahead and make a memory in a bit as well. Once it's made, you can go and see that it's popping up here. Now, you can go ahead and fully edit it, change it, as well as edit the tags. You can also easily revert back and everything. So, it works seamlessly. They are also working on visualized comparisons of memory conflicts and resolving conflicts between team members, which will also be cool when it comes out. So, that's great. I have been using Byte Rover a lot with Claude Code these days as well. You can also easily configure Byte Rover with Claude Code by running the command that you see when you select the Claude Code option in their dashboard, and then just run it and authenticate the MCP there, and then start using it. It makes Claude Code much more powerful in a lot of ways, as it allows it to do stuff that wasn't possible before. Because a lot of times, Claude Code used to forget some stuff that you did before. But now, you can ask it to save it as a memory, and then retrieve it again when needed. You can then also take that memory into any other coder that you also use accordingly. So, yeah, that is also cool. Byte Rover also has their Cypher memory layer open sourced, and it also keeps getting updated with the latest stuff. So, you can check that out as well. It's really good. That is majorly about it. Go ahead and give it a try. It has become really good these days. It keeps getting updated with new features, and especially for teams, it can be a godsend because you can make it memorize the best coding practices as well as stuff like rules and everything and share it across teams so that everyone stays on track with the latest practices. It's amazingly good. Go ahead and give this a try and use it for yourself and power up your coder in literal seconds. It's also really fast. So, it doesn't add any overhead to the performance and just keeps everything smooth sailing. It's really awesome. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.